टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्पीक इन जनरल अबाउट सहज योग एंड कुंडलिनी आवेग सहज एज यू नो मीन्स सह मीन्स विथ एंड ज बॉन्ड विथ यू बट परहैप्स पीपल डू नॉट रियलाइज वॉट सहज एक्चुअली मीन्स इट इज स्पॉन्टेनियस बो वॉट इज स्पॉन्टेनियस स्पॉन्टेनियस इज नॉट दैट सपोजिंग आई एम गोइंग इन द कार एंड सडनली आई मीट समबडी आई सी आई स्पॉन्टेनियसली आई मेट द पर्सन spontaneous means that happening is a living happening it has to be a living thing which is spontaneous it's a very mysterious word that cannot be explained and that happens without any understanding about it which is not possible for a human being to understand that is sahaj sahaj may mean it's very simple very easy it is it has to be for example god has given us these eyes these wonderful eyes that human beings have got that not that they can see the color but can also appreciate it god has given them a nose which is so well developed that it can feel the filth animals cannot feel it you have become a human being i have become a human being and everybody has become a human being become from a amoeba stage spontaneously can you explain that how it has happened further we can see every day we see so many spontaneous things happen today you go in the forest you will see lots of flowers there in the forest in the wilderness and tomorrow you will find lots of fruits produced by these flowers who has done it effortlessly the nature has done it it's a living happening it won't happen in a dead thing for example this hall i have been visiting now every year is just the same the size is just the same except that some people have put some other color or put some appendages that's all dead cannot grow by itself there is no growth it is not a spontaneous growth it is a growth of effort that you have to put in things on top of all that things to make it look bigger in all the living things whatever has been the living work by the living god has been miraculous you cannot explain but we have taken everything for granted for us it doesn't surprise us that today we see a flower tomorrow a fruit we see a little seed growing into a huge big tree and we are not surprised at it not at all it's being taken for granted this is the living work see the system the whole system of nature is in such a balance such a balance is maintained it creates different types of seasons one after the another the sun moves from one tropic to another it creates seasons the trees are laden with leaves and suddenly the trees are left without them the all the leaves fall off automatically because the sun is going on the other tropic but the leaves have to fall down on the ground why because the nutrition of nitrogen has to go to the mother earth to be resucked by the tree all this circle has been built up you see in the universe 
how things are happening we never even bother to see we are have been taking full advantage of god's love for us out of his spontaneity he has created us and also he has created us in such a way that we can enjoy his spontaneous love all around us but we try to see god we try to see god in dead things if somebody has a big house people think god has blessed him if somebody gets a big position they think god has blessed him but we never realize that these things which are not spontaneous which are through effort have been achieved are of no consequence as far as the joy is concerned you give some money to a person who is not used to money immediately you will find he will go to the race course or he will start drinking he can't bear it when the riches grow too much you see what happens affluence creates such a problem you have known that now you are very aware of it how affluence has ruined the spontaneity of western people how their society has become malignant now how they are unhappy there is no love this spontaneity within us is worked out through the living force that is within us and not through the dead whatever dies within us is pushed aside sah yoga is the culmination of that living work by which you have become a human being and now the time has come for you to become a self realized personality the time has come many people asked me today in the press conference what is your purpose what is your mission it's most surprising as they ask all the political leaders they were asking the time has come the time has come for you to get your self realization you are ready for it now this is the time when the chaos is at its maximum level where people understand that these pursuits of wealth of power another emotional possessions are of no value where the pressures and the tensions are so great that man is seeking 